So in this unit, we're going to be talking about perpendicular and parallel lines and the information that we know about them. Okay, so first we're going to start off here with just a few definitions. Um, first off, parallel lines. Parallel lines, I think most of you guys would describe it as two lines that are never going to intersect. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add the fact that they are coplanar. And coplanar just means that they're lines that lay on, lie on the same plane. So you could think of them like on the same sheet of paper. And the symbol that we use for parallel lines is two vertical lines. Okay, Skew lines might be one that you haven't heard of um, before. And that is two lines that do not intersect and are not coplanar. So a good example of that um, would be like if you think of the highway, you've got a bridge going over the highway and a um, road going under the bridge. There can be cars that are would basically be on top of each other if the two lines intersected, but since they're in different planes, um, the cars can go through at the same time. Then we have parallel planes. Parallel planes are two planes that are never going to intersect. A good example of that would be the floor and the ceiling um, or opposite walls of a, of a room. And lastly, a transversal is just a line that intersects two or more lines. So when we have our uh, parallel uh, lines that are on a plane, we're going to use the red arrows like that are shown over in the picture to show that those lines are parallel, meaning they're never going to intersect. Uh, our skew lines, skew lines would be examples of line I that's going vertical and line J that's not intersecting it. You can parallel planes would be plane R and plane Q. And then our last one is the line J is parallel to plane Q because it's on a separate plane. Our parallel postulate states that if there's a line and a point not on the line, then there's exactly one point through the one line through the point that is parallel to your given line. So if we have line F that was given there, and point M, there is no other point that we could draw a line through, no other line that we could draw through point M that would be parallel to line F. Our perpendicular postulate states that if there is a line and a point not on the line, then there is exactly one line through the point that is going to be perpendicular to the given line. So again, if we're given line F and point M, there is no other line that can be drawn through point M that's perpendicular to F. Perpendicular means 90 degrees, and our symbol for perpendicular looks like an upside down capital T. Um, I think your paper should be correct, but on here I needed to fix that and change our B to an O. So we're going to be working with the point that we have marked over there. So on this first one, we want a line um, through O that is skewed to line S over there, RS, okay? So there is only, skew means it's on a different plane and never going to intersect. So those two lines would never intersect. We've got OP and line RS. So perpendicular to RS, we have the symbol over there that I highlighted. That box in the corner means that it's perpendicular. And so the line that's perpendicular to RS and through point O would be line OS. Um, a line that's parallel to RS through O is going to be the other top of the box that's parallel to it. It's line NO. And lastly, a plane that is parallel to RST. So RST is the back of that box. So we need to define the front of the box. And when we define a plane, we just use any three letters from the plane. So we'd use N, 
O, M, or P, any three of those, and I just chose N, O, and P. Okay. On this last set of examples, we have name a pair of parallel lines. So those symbols there show that those are parallel. So to name those lines, we're just going to use the two letters. So we have line MS is parallel to RN. And then we also have line OP. Or those two lines are marked parallel with their arrows. And so we've got line UO and line TP. So then for perpendicular, that's what that symbol right there means. So we're going to name those two lines that are intersecting there. And that would be line MS is perpendicular to line LQ. On number seven, they're asking us, is UO parallel to RN? So there's UO and RN. They intersect there, so they are not going to be parallel because they intersect. And lastly, is MS perpendicular to QL? And they are marked right there, and it says that they are. So our answer is yes because of the angle marking that's given there. It states that it is perpendicular at 90 degrees.